here is I'm back again so um, I just uh, mixed these colors before I used um, four different blues a gold and a white and just in case you missed the previous video this was a little instructional video for my sister back home in Germany so I'm gonna go over real quick what I did here I've used four different colors and mix these up. And the reason I'm using these colors, I've had this idea floating around in my head uh, of doing it on a, on a bigger canvas, but I just kind of wanted to see, um, you know, how those different uh, techniques are gonna work and which would be giving me the best desired results. So, and I, so I just went to the craft store and just got smaller containers of some blues. These are not gonna be the exact blues that I'm probably not gonna use uh, on the big canvas, but this is good sizing uh, for mixing up a batch to do maybe three, hopefully four little different techniques to see how it comes out. So I bought the apple um, barrel, two ounce bottles, which is perfect. So the two ounces that I mixed up with uh, two ounces of Floetrol and a little bit of water uh, just to get the consistency right. So I used the uh, China Blue, then I used the Cool Blue, and um, then I have what's called the Award Blue, and um, the Admiral Blue. Hey Jackie, you wanna lay here? Okay, so those are the ones. So I transferred these over in this cup just to make it easier on me and um what i also did then i just filled these little bottles after i emptied them out i had them tipped over for a little bit and just refilled them with floetrol um same amount and put that in there and um so i have about uh, 100 grams or four ounces of color it's not quite exact we all know um two ounces is 59 millimeters or milliliters or 59 grams but anyway so we'll base it on about 50 grams and so for each 10 grams of extra color i put uh one drop in so five drops of oil and i used the treadmill oil for this so anyway so and then i mixed it up so these are all ready to go and also just in case because i haven't quite yet decided of which techniques i'm going to do so i uh, also made myself uh, an extra squeezy bottle, one of those condiment bottles um, with white and there's no oil in it. Also, I did not put any oil into the in the darkest color because I want to use it as a background. Uh, so going back to that, uh, I always like to keep a little mix of half Floetrol and half white or glue mixture, you know, in there. But this one is Floetrol. So, because uh, white is, seems to be the color that just being used quite a bit. So, and I'm gonna use this later on to use it and squeeze it and pour it underneath the colors that I've applied already. Now everything is a little slippery here um, with those gloves. Yes, I'm wearing my gloves and I'm geared up because you may have seen it before. I do have some allergic reactions to uh, silicone. Uh, not silicone, but um, actually silicone too, but acrylics. So um, so I need to be extra careful, but that's all good. And then I do have my burner here and I got my small one. I just got that one. So that's great for smaller surfaces. If I can figure out by the time I have to use it, I probably forgot again how to use And I'm also having uh, my blow dryer here because I'm was thinking about doing some blow techniques or what uh, some people call the, the Dutch method or something. Uh, I don't know. I've, I've blown my color like for quite a while before I even saw that, but it doesn't really matter. So anyway, so have all of your tools ready. I got some workshop um, blue paper towels here, which is great to have. And all my little boys here, everybody under the table. So another little thing I like doing, I get... Um, a little pan it's from the uh, Costco and they're like those little cardboard pans and I use these a little um, uh, drip pans and I put um, a little sheet over it these are mattress cover um, protectors I get them at the dollar store they're the 
the queen size one. Put that in there so it's easier to wipe up. Anyway, so here we go. Here's enough with my little tips and stuff. Let's see if I can figure out some other techniques. And uh, I want to go with this color palette. So, uh, and I'm going to try this on a tile. These are, there are some tiles my husband didn't need for a job. He just finished and he asked if I wanted it. So I figured I'm just going to do this. Now, this is, I'm worried about this slipping out of my hands. So I'm going to be a little risky and take these off. I may going to put them on later again once I start pouring. I just have to be very careful. Okay, I put them right here and then, um, yeah, it's too slippery. These. It wasn't the last time I used them. But anyway, so, okay, do we, how are we going to do this? Yeah, let's just do little bits of, now we don't have anything, to, no, I want to do like one, two, three, four, maybe. One, two, three, four. Let's just see how this works out. Little drips, just little bits. Just want to do little bits. I don't want to over. Two. Three. Four. Okay. And then I want to do the lighter blue. Two. Three. Four. Now, I've seen this so many different ways of doing this, and I just can't decide. Um, so I guess I just have to kind of experiment. Hey, guys. Oh, all of you in one spot. Just don't walk under Mommy's feet, okay? That would be sad. Mommy falls. I'm going to have the light blue here. Uh, it still has some air bubbles in it because I used the little cappuccino frother earlier and then I decided, oh, probably not the best idea. So I'm going to migrate back to the gold. So, a little bit of a, see, I think I'm using too much. But that's okay. okay. I'm not going to get um, everything out of the way I want to. But that's okay. That's about trial and error, most of this, right? So next time, maybe I'll do white as a background. And then... Um, so now I need to kind of decide if I want to... Um, just do this right now. I wanted to do a blow, a flow. I saw that the other is so pretty. Put some white around here. I think that just helps flow for the color to flow. So I just want to go a little bit in there. I think I have enough paint on here. If not, I can always add something. Now, I've seen somebody swipe it, then blow it. Then I've seen some layering it in a cup. And then, so I don't know. What do we want to do? Do we just blow it? Or do we just, uh, oh, I have the burst thing. Let's do it. Only blow 
blow dryer that I have, but that's the way the colors come out. Give me a little bit more white. Hey guys, can you calm it down? Actually, you know, I would say I have no idea what I'm doing. I just go with the flow. I, even though I am considering myself a perfectionist, painting.